Welcome, friends. Uh, this is Asad Khan, uh, Professor of Microbiology in Biotechnology Department at Aligarh Muslim University. Aligarh. As you all know, that I've been working in the area of antimicrobial resistance for last at least two decades. Uh, today, I'll be talking on uh, the current scenario and the solution of this uh, problem. As you all know, that antimicrobial resistance, uh, AMR, MDR, XDR, even pan drug resistance is one of the major problem. And not only India, but globally. Therefore, uh, one has to think sensibly at this point of time that how to control this problem. Otherwise, the next pandemic will be AMR, we all know. WHO has already declared by 2050, we have more than 10 million people die every year. And that goes to a more than $100 billion GDP loss. Therefore, uh, it is utmost important that to uh, think all together, uh, healthcare workers, you know, general public, physicians, uh, so that we can fight with this problem. Now, ICMR, one of the organization in India, uh, as well as the WHO, jointly working on one health problem. Here, what does it mean? It means we should not focus on the transmission dynamics of the antimicrobial resistance from zoonotic sources to human. So now, the poultry firms and animals, uh, you know, interface of uh, water bodies and then clinical settings, all these things, these areas should be focused on uh, in order to understand the transmission uh, and AMR transmission dynamics. Now, once we understand the mode of transmission of these antimicrobial resistant or drug resistant bacteria from, you know, one site to another site that can be checked. So now this is the time to make policies at the government level uh, so that we can check and we can control the AMR as soon as possible. Therefore, uh, those who are in the area of antimicrobial resistance, please join the uh, AMR surveillance uh, projects and focus on transmission dynamics and to understand how the drug resistance is being spread from animal to human uh, and of course, the water bodies are, as I told you, one of the major reservoirs. So sewage water is one of them, and you know, domestic water is another one. So we have to check all these possibilities of having different diversity, diversified bacteria, and their different ARGs, which are among circulating in these bacteria. So I'm sure having this comprehensive information, uh, we can have some policies at the government level, and we control, we are successfully control the infection of such kind of infection in the hospital settings and as well as in the community acquired infection. Thank you.